Yo, what up? Benjamin D'Souza here back with another classic. Just got done dropping off a load in St. Joe, Missouri. Picked up another load in St. Joseph, Missouri. On my way to Salt Lake. I'm in Grand Island, Nebraska right now. I got to go through these badlands, Wyoming. But uh, it's been some talk. These YouTube streets about uh, SYSBM. And I want to just say, I want to vehemently say that SYSBM is not about uh, swearing off ADOS women and putting on a cape for other groups of women. No, it's not about that. It's about drawing the line in the sand and saying, this is what's acceptable this is what's not acceptable. We're not here to diss black women just for the sake of dissing black women. No, it's about getting the best of the best. Now, if there's a sizable portion of black women who can't meet that standard, then it is what it is, you know? Us brothers see this, man. The reason why this thing, this SYSBM thing, is resonating so much with a lot of brothers throughout the uh, throughout the manosphere is for the simple fact that, man, we grew up with these chicks, man. We went to elementary school, middle school, high school with them. We got them in our families. We interact with them on a day-to-day -day basis, even on a platonic level. You know. It's me being the CEO of my own company, you know, me being king and ruler of all that I survey, having, having supreme dominion in my life, I'm not going to allow some derelict female to come into my space, hit the red button, and just blow everything up. No, no. And from my observation, black women have a higher propensity to hit that red button over any and every other group of women that I've come in contact with. It's something that has been in culture, it's been something that's been culturally ingrained in black women in Blackistan. Shout out to Game Changer 00100 with the scrolls. Scroll, please. <laughs> and the most dangerous uh, aspect of the modern day B dubs, how you say, psyche, is that she values leverage and petty power over anything game changer and uh, black ramble speaking about this the other day they value relationship leverage over uh, an actual cohesive family unit you know what i'm saying and they will blow up the spot they derive their power from their mother goddess, mother destroyer goddess altar. You know what I mean? They don't have the... Because see, here's the thing. To build something, whether whether you build a multi-million dollar estate or a multi-million dollar business or, you know, uh, whatever. Whatever you're building, right? To build something, it takes time, a lot of time and hard work. So to exercise power in building is going to take a long period of time. But to destroy something, you know, you can you can destroy something in the course of a day. You know what I'm saying? It's as the old adage goes, Rome wasn't built in a day. But that motherfucker was destroyed very quickly. You know, for all the decades that it took to build Rome as this, you know city on the hill if you will it didn't take very long for the vandals to come through and 
sack that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And us as SYSBM, our biggest uh, contention with the modern day ADOS uh, B Dub is that she revels, she relishes this destroyer power. It's really petty power that, that she's been propped up, that, that she's been subsidized to get. You know what I'm saying? She revels in that shit. And I can't I can't fuck with a uh, with a person like that, male or female, regardless, man. Regardless. Not, not getting your way in a relationship and not feeling as if you can exercise a modicum of leverage over somebody so you figure that you're just going to hit the red button and blow the shit up. And, you know, fuck the fallout because I'm not going to take responsibility for the fallout. So who cares? I'm just going to blow up the spot. That right there is a severe sign of a two-dimensional thinker. Like I told you, brothers, man, do not deal with base level, surface level, two dimensional thinkers. If you do, if you have to, feed them jokers with a long handle spoon. Keep them at arm's length. Do not bring them into your inner sanctum. Because they will defile your inner sanctum. You know? Because look at it like this, man. Look at it like this. When you want to take a look at the uh, the child support system, right? These chicks, a lot of the times, are putting the men on child support as a mechanism to twist that man's arm to get him to knuckle under and comply with her demands and her wishes within the relationship. You know? A funky ass, measly ass, three hundred to five hundred dollars a month from that man isn't going to replace that man. It's not, you know. And then, and then going to the extent of trying to really squeeze that man for every ounce of resource that you can to financially cripple him. And get him in so much back child support that he gets his license taken from him and that he goes to jail. You're using that as a stick to punish that man. It's really not beneficial for the woman or the child. It's really not. But, you know, petty little shit like that is the only type of power that they feel like they can exercise. And whatever, you know, whatever method they can use to leverage against that man, they're going to use it. Family structure, family cohesiveness, uh, a nurturing, safe, warm environment for the child to be reared in, be damned. All that matters is she's throwing a temper tantrum and she wants what she wants. And she'll go to any extent to get what she wants. You know? And technically, man, I've been I've been SYSBM for a while, man. I've been a domestic, I've been how you say a domestic sympathizer for a while, you know, because I've dealt with uh, domestics on a on a serious level, or I tried to take them seriously, you know, even to my detriment in certain aspects. But I always knew because I had a close, close up, man. Like I said, my mother's Ados and my father is not, you know. So on my father's side, I've seen the women, how the women on my father's side act from my grandmother on down, you know. And trust me, these foreign women, they're not pushovers, man. They're not. Brothers aren't aren't SYSBM and passport gang because they, they, they want a doormat to walk on. That's not the case. That's not the case at all, man. You know? If 
you're not fulfilling your duties. Because here's the thing. Women from other groups have a different orientation on what the man's role is and what the woman's role is. As opposed to how it's defined in Blackistan. Blackistan is just, you know, the B dub is, is the mother goddess and all the all the BMs are to bow down and, and uh, pay homage and, and, and give obeisance to the mother goddess. That's it. Regardless of whatever the whims of said alleged mother goddess is, we're just supposed to just deal with it. Because we're men. You know what I mean? And other groups, man, with other groups of other cultures and whatnot, they have clear defined roles. And the pushback occurs with these women from these other cultures when the man clearly isn't living up to said role. But here's the thing, with that pushback, they don't cross, they know that there's a line and they don't cross it, you know what I'm saying? And the men, same, same for uh, the men, you know? The men lay down the law, they, they, set the, they set the tone, they set the pace, but they don't cross the line. What we have here in Blackistan, man, is that a lot of brothers have lines drawn, but these, but these B-dubs are hell-bent on crossing said line, making a complete circuit around the motherfucking globe and crossing that line again. And then when you call them out on it, the reply is, well, you're the men. You're supposed to be leading. Okay. All right. All right. Fair enough. Now, see, not advocating this, but if brothers was to get on some uh, King Henry VIII type of shit, I would uh I would speculate that you know <laughs> it'd be a lot more compliance going on around these parts. But yeah, man, that's why SBM is for the children's man. Straight up, you know you're not gonna you're not gonna get me. To work my fingers to the bone, put in all this sweat equity, you know, going out here collecting the heads of kings and slaying a dragon and shit, and bring it back to an ungrateful harpy bitch. That's not gonna happen, man. That is not going to happen. Straight up. I want the best because I deserve the best. And if I can't get it here, goddammit, I go somewhere else. I take my business elsewhere. <laughs>